just start by getting a plain white shirt. You can pick one up for a couple bucks in a secondhand shop. And then take some black fabric and lay that over the shirt. You want it to be as wide as the shirt. And then cut it so that the top has the points on it. And then just pin that and you want to sew around all the edges. And then on the bottom edge you'll hem that under. So here it is once it's sewn and hemmed. And then it's exactly the same on the back side as well. I did the same thing there. Then you'll cut the hood shape out of some pink fabric. And I do have a free template for this. It should be popping up on your screen or the link is also in the description box. And you'll cut out two pieces of that hood template. Lay them over each other with the right sides together. And then you're just going to sew around the curved edge, leaving the other two sides open. So here it is once it's been sewn. And that opens up into a hood. Do the same thing with some white fabric. And then you're just going to shove the pink hood inside the white hood, matching up the sewing lines. And then you're just going to sew around the open edges, just the front part of the hood there, leave the bottom open. So here's once it's sewn, the bottom edge is still open, but I've sewn the two sides of the hood together, so just flip that around through the bottom edge where it's open so that all the stitch lines are hidden on the inside then. So then when you open it up, both layers open. So then flip it back out to the pink side and take some white puffy paint. And you just want to make yourself your spider web lines. So do the long lines and then do the curved lines. And you just want to go until you have both sides of the hood totally covered. Just let one side dry before you do the other side, of course. And while that's drying, take some more pink fabric and cut out the eye sockets. This is also in the template. And you'll cut two of those out of pink fabric. And then flip your hood right side out. Put a little fabric glue on the eye sockets and just glue those onto the hood. If you're doing this for a bigger child or an adult, you can just glue these onto a white face mask to use as the mask. But since this is a toddler costume, I just glued them onto the hood. So then take your hood and you just want to pin the edges of that to the collar of the shirt. So here it is once it's all pinned. I'm just going to sew all the way around the bottom of the hood. So here it is once it's sewn on. It doesn't go all the way around to the front, but that's good because it leaves room for the head. So then take some more pink fabric and cut out two diamonds. These are also in the template and do some spider webs on those as well with some puffy paint and leave those to dry. Just do two of those and then when they're both dry shove some paper inside the sleeves of your shirt and then just glue the diamonds onto the middle of the sleeve. If this is an adult costume you can actually cut the diamond shape out of the white sleeve and sew the pink to the inside because the sleeves are bigger. For the pants just get a pair of black pants from a secondhand shop cut out the little crescent shapes from some white fabric. These are also in the template. And then you'll just fabric glue those onto the pants halfway so that the front and back look exactly the same. And then here is the finished Spider Gwen costume.